So here we are on the last leg of our journey. To Maine. <laughs> Tiny house, prepper. Hi everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth with Tiny House Prepper. So I got home a couple days ago from California and unloaded our stuff and loaded everything back in. And now we're leaving for a trip to Maine to drop everything else off for your sister. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we've done this trip many times before, so it's no new adventure for us, but <laughs> it's the last part of our trip. Is such a, that is her cove right there. Oh my goodness, that's Zoom beautiful. It in. Oh, it's gorgeous. That'd be quite a picture.
So here we are unloading this stuff. Sister Dana. You've met her before. It's going to be really nice to get my truck empty. It's been completely full for quite a while now. All right, I am in Maine in front of my sister's gorgeous hydrangea on her back porch. That's what I'm hoping my little hydrangea grows up to be. <laughs> um, we have gotten all of mom's stuff unloaded yeah. out of the truck and um, here at the house now. And uh, tonight we're gonna go down uh, closer to the airport right. to stay with your son. Yep. And then we'll be flying out very early, early, early yeah. tomorrow morning from Boston. Up, we'll probably have to get out of there at four. Yeah, we probably should be on the road by four. Yeah. But uh, that way we'll get there right. nice and early. So okay. we'll be flying out um, to, my, to mom in the morning. Thank you for all of your really loving comments and especially for your prayers right now. We, we really appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah. very much. Right. It's turning out one niece is gonna get to go. We're very happy about that. Yep. So anyway, it's beautiful here. And, uh, I, we'll, we'll be, be back. We'll be back. <laughs> when, we, uh, when we come back um, after, we'll see how everything goes. Um, we'll be going through some stuff and getting it ready for family and, you know, yeah. how that goes. So, so yeah. alrighty. It's not done. <laughs> but it's, it's getting there. Yep. All right. Love you guys. Right. So Dana and Rob live in their beautiful resort here in Maine. This is the uh, hole number nine on the golf course. And there's the tee off and you can just barely see part of the water of the inlet from the ocean right there and there's their house right in the middle of the golf course What are you doing there? Oh, hi. Oh, goodness, hi. Just getting stuff organized so that when we go tonight, I can have the stuff I need for tomorrow out and not have to dig into my big suitcase. And you're going where tomorrow? Oh, oh now tomorrow we're going to be flying to San Diego. <laughs> we are on our way to our nephew's house because he's, he lives several hours closer to the Boston airport than Dana does. That'll save us several hours tomorrow morning. So we're driving down there. The girls are in Dana's car. I'm alone in the truck. And there was a huge backup on Interstate 95. So GPS told me to get off and take back roads. So I've been on these little two lane back roads forever. And it's still supposed to be 10 or 15 minutes faster than that backup on the highway. As I was driving down through there, I was thinking, you know, I would really like a Dunkin' Donut. <laughs> and you can't go anywhere in Maine, New Hampshire, or Massachusetts without seeing a Dunkin' Donuts every five or ten minutes, even in the back roads in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to stop for a Dunkin' Donuts. They are everywhere.
love you. Bye, ladies. Well, the girls are on their way. We had to get up at four o'clock this morning to get them to their airport in time. Those poor girls are going from Boston to Nashville to Atlanta, and then a direct flight from Atlanta all the way to San Diego. It's gonna be a 12 hour plus day for them. And then the three hour time change, it's gonna be an exhausting day, but they'll do okay. It's the first time I've ever been to Logan in Boston and oh man what a hectic airport as you go in you know they have a bunch of different uh, terminals terminal A B C and so forth and there's signs above the highway that tell you exit here for terminal A here for terminal B but it doesn't tell you what airlines are at which terminal and it didn't say anything on the tickets that they had the pre you know the boarding passes that they printed off from the computer so we didn't know where to go so just as we, it, it said, you know, exit here for terminal A. And then just as we got to the exit, then it had the list of the airlines that were there, but the exit was to the right and we were in the left lane and we couldn't get to it. So then we had to do this whole big loop all the way around and it was bumper to bumper, uh, just gridlock all the way around that loop. It was probably about a mile about a mile and it took us like 25 minutes to go around that loop to get back to terminal A again. I couldn't believe it. It was just so poorly designed. It should have told us way in advance which airlines were at which terminal. So we were concerned that they were gonna be able to get there in time because we didn't expect that extra half hour delay. But after I dropped them off and a little while later, I got a message from Elizabeth saying that they had made it to their uh, airplane okay and they got seats and they even have a seat in an empty seat in between them so that's very good so you know this is Monday the 20th of eight of August and don't forget that our videos are running two weeks behind so by the time you actually see this they will have already been in California for I don't know a week and a half two weeks something like that so uh, but anyway, so now all I have to do is drive home and I'm done. And so this is the final leg of my trip to California. Delivered all of the stuff to Dana's house in Maine and then dropped Dana and, and Elizabeth off at Logan Airport in Boston and now I'm headed home. I've done a lot of miles. I've done a lot of driving. <laughs> so I'm gonna be glad to be home and I'm gonna be batching it for the next two weeks because she's not gonna be here. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my journey. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like it. It helps a lot. And hey, I'll see you next time. Be blessed.